Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Wednesday. I'm always on the hunt for the perfect bag. If you are like me, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. Today I want to share with you my small leather goo collection. I got inspired by my dear YouTube friend, Sabina from Apple City. I'm going to tag her channel below. She recently made a video about her SLG collection and I thought, hmm, I think it's a good time to make my own video. My collection is not really big. However, majority of my items has a very strong, very big sentimental value to me. Some of my items are even almost 20 years old. Without further ado, let's start. We begin in chronological order with my very first luxury SLG. In fact, that was my very first luxury item and it's a Bottega Veneta Entrechato Little Purse. I purchased this almost 20 years ago and I remember, even now I remember the situation when I was buying it. I went into the Bottega Veneta boutique. I just got paid. And I was so happy and I wanted to treat myself with my very first luxury item. My eye laid on this one. I totally fell in love. But when I came to the counter, being ready to pay for that, shop girl told me that it was £170. Wow, I didn't expect that it's going to be so much. I almost back off and cancel this purchase. But then... I, was, I told myself that I totally deserve that and it's a great way to start my luxury collection. And I did buy it. And I didn't regret a single day of having this beautiful piece. It's a classic Bottega Veneta Entrechato. Beautiful, guys. It's so tactile. I think that was the point when I fell in love with that. I was like that at that point too. The leather is so soft. It feels amazing. It feels very, very luxurious. Even now when the piece is pretty old and kind of like, you know, reaching this 20 years vintage status. It's a full leather interior and exterior. It has a um, little pocket for the notes, pockets for the cards and the purse, little coin purse with that some closure here and it has a closure over here as well. Back in the day this little button used to be a full leather covered. Unfortunately over the years because I used this purse so much it was my wow like not just the everyday every single minute purse. Obviously this little cover just gone. Because it was my first ever luxury item. For this particular reason, I still keep it in my collection. It has a great sentimental value to me. The next item has a big sentimental value to me too. And the reason for that, that I purchased this Burberry, a large purse. At that point, I was in a mini bag lady and I used the big bags and that therefore a big purses. So at that point, I purchased this purse in Heathrow Airport in Barbary Boutique at the point when I was moving to Scotland. And to celebrate that special moment of my life, I purchased this Barbary purse. And then when I joined the university in Scotland, I used that a lot. At the moment, this poor purse is completely gone. It's worn off to the max. It's, you know, ripped in some places. However, I still keep it in my collection because it has such a great sentimental value to me and because it reminds me about this time when I moved to Scotland. We've got a coin pocket here. We have a little card holders, quite a few of them over here, and the Barbary. I'm not sure if you can see that on the screen, but it's a Barbary emblem, branding, and the Barbary embossing over here. We have a note 
pocket here as well. Inside it's a textile nylon interior with the Barbary branding. Here we have all the leather exterior and actual purse is made of leather with a heritage Barbary print. Next smaller leather good item has a very important place in my collection too. It's a Sonia Riquel little purse. This item I got that from my one of my best friends. We've been friends now for over 20 years and we live in a completely different countries and unfortunately we don't have a chance to see each other very often. We speak pretty much every day over WhatsApp. Thanks for all of that technology that we have now. For one of my birthdays, she gifted me this beautiful cheeky face uh, Sony Riquel purse. You can see that really nice emblem over here. It's a traditional Sony Riquel and it's like totally highlight her style. It's a leather exterior and the Sony Riquel embossing on the back. Inside we have pink leather interior and little coin purse and card slots. And again, because it's a quite old fashioned and I think I got it from her quite a while ago, it has a little pocket for notes as well. I don't use that uh, purse too much and I've never did, but because I got it from her, it's very important to me and I love it so much. And that's why I don't use it that much because I'm really scared to ruin that. And it's already like pretty old, as I said, I would say that's around over 10 years, over 10 years old. And I, I really want to keep it in a really, really good condition because every time when I look at it, I think about her. We are moving to the next item in my collection. And the next one, very important to me, this Mulberry Oxblood accordion style card holder I received as a birthday gift from my husband. The significant thing here is that my husband, at that point, we were students, we didn't earn much, you know, we were full-time students, we were doing some bar jobs and stuff like that. And I was already really heavy into the luxury items and building my luxury collection. I've already developed that passion or just started developing this passion for luxury items. But my husband didn't understand that. He thought it was a waste of money. That's why when I got this little Mulberry card holder, I was so impressed and I was so happy and it meant so much to me. At the moment, it's already a little bit worn out. You can see that the mulberry gold embossing is just starting fading away. We have a few scratches on the top. We have a little bit of scratches at the bottom as well. I don't use that card holder much anymore. I used to, that was my uh, go-to card holder at that point of time. At the moment, it's not because it's quite bulky. And I used to fill it up with uh, many, many, many cards and loads of coins and also notes are uh, folded in there as well. I do mini bags mostly now. So I tend to go rather for flat card holders. The capacity is not allowing me in the mini bags to use the chunky card holder, but I still keep this card holder in my collection because again, it has such a great sentimental value to me and it reminds me about that happiest moment of my life when my husband gifted it to me. After this one, I don't remember chronological order, specific chronological order for the remaining of my SLGs, but let's move to the next one. And it's a Louis Vuitton flat card holder with a fuchsia interior. Beautiful canvas, Louis Vuitton piece. It was my very first Louis Vuitton piece ever. And I purchased that in Louis Vuitton boutique in Edinburgh. That was a really nice, beautiful moment. And I made some connections with my SA. And it was that special moment of, you know, getting a little touch of Louis Vuitton brand. 
After that, I added a few bags to my collection, but this one is very special to me because that was the start of my Louis Vuitton collection. It's very simple. It's not the biggest capacity for the card holder, but it's still really good and I use that a lot. At the moment, actually, that's the card holder I use with my bags. I don't mind to like, you know, mismatch my card holders and my bags. So for example, I wear my Saint Laurent uh, Lulu bag and I used my Louis Vuitton card holder. I'm planning to add more SLGs from Louis Vuitton to my collection, but that one will always have a special place in my collection because it's been the very first one. After this one, we're moving to the next piece from Bottega Veneta, and it's a flat card holder with a, a little intricato pockets over here. It's a larger intricato than my original first piece, but it's still beautiful and really nice. The quality of the leather is amazing, guys. It's still, despite the fact that it's a small flat card holder, the quality is just divine. And it's, it tells me the difference between this one and my very first Bottega Veneta piece just tells me that the quality didn't go downhill after 20 years because the quality is still very good, amazing, and quality of the leather and the feel of the leather is very similar between those two pieces. As you can see, it's very simple. Intrichato here and here, and a few, four pockets. We have the Bottega Veneta embossing. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's a Bottega Veneta embossing and some uh, textile interior inside the card holder pieces. It's been a very spontaneous buy. I wasn't planning to buy any uh, luxury items that day. I went just for a little stroll in my boutiques in city center. And then uh, my Bottega Veneta SA, she's like, oh, do you know we have 20% um, discount today? I'm like, mm, oh, Okay, and, and in my head, I was like, don't buy any bags, don't buy any bags, don't buy any bags. But then my other, you know, like an angel and a devil on your shoulders, my little devil was like, but it's a 20% discount. And then she showed me those SLGs. There was a few different colors. I actually regret uh, not buying the other one, the another flat card holder in signature Bottega Veneta green color. At that point, it wasn't that popular yet. And when she showed me those two colors, the green and the red, I went for a red because it's a traditionally, um, you know, the color which attracts money. I kind of believe in those kind of things. So yes, that's the reason why I went for a red color against the green one which later on became a super popular Bottega Veneta green color. But anyways, I still love my red one. I don't use it that very much due to the delicate leather. However, still love it, still love this piece. And I'm glad that I, you know, listened to the little devil on my other shoulder and didn't miss this 20% discount on the card holder, which at that point I was thinking about adding to my collection at some point. Next one is Saint Laurent card holder, flat card holder. This one is special because I got it as a Christmas gift from my husband. I love the polka dot print all over. It makes it very special and unique. I haven't seen this uh, anywhere, but my husband found it and he actually surprised me for the Christmas gift with that one. And I was so, so glad. I remember how happy I was. And it's a special little piece. I use that a lot. It's a leather exterior, a massive Saint Laurent emblem logo in the middle. And it's a three pockets on front, on the bag. This one, the middle pocket is quite spacious. You don't see that much with uh, flat card holders. They usually, you kind of like a struggling to get in there, but because of the quality of the leather, so it's soft and structured at the same time. So it's less soft than the Bottega Veneta leather, 
but at the same time it's pretty structured and soft enough so you can put quite a few cards in there absolutely love this piece and yeah probably if i have to choose uh my favorite ones that will be my second favorite one in my collection of card holders and with that thought we are moving to my favorite one and it's a dior saddle card holder i love everything about it i i i, I do it's my very first dior piece uh and so far i think the, the only one and I really wanted to buy this one because of the saddle design. Saddle bag is still on my list, on my wish list. So it's one of my dream bags, which I would love to add to my collection at some point. And this Dior saddle card holder just brings me a little bit closer to my dream bag. I love the oblique design. It's all over in front and uh, the back as well. We have a back little pocket. I am a sucker for the back pockets, to be honest with you. I don't use it much, but for whatever reason, I love it on my SLGs and also on my bags. So this one has it. It's a flap opening. And inside we have a quite a few pockets quite a few components with a large one when you can add quite a few cards. I think it comes to the seven, eight cards. I did the full review on this card holder. I'm going to leave the link below. So if you want, you can check this out. And just now I keep some coins in there because I don't use coins much. Nowadays it's mostly card payments and it has a gold embossing Christian Dior Paris on the front as well. As I mentioned, absolutely love this piece and it's my little step forward to Dior saddle bag, my dream bag. To conclude guys, I just want to say that I really like my small leather goods. When I was much younger, I was a student and couldn't afford much. They allowed me, due to the lower barrier of entry, to start my luxury collection. All of them has a very strong sentimental value to me. I still have a few dream pieces on my wish list. I want to add, definitely want to add the Gucci card holder to my collection, the Chanel one. It's uh, the flap card holder is just, wow. I really want one of those. Maybe a Prada and a Burberry as well. So there is a few items as you can see on the wish list for my SLJ collection. And that's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my SLJ collection. If you did, hit thumbs up, subscribe, hit notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.